Longevity is also an excellent descriptor for our next quartet. Thirty years and still going strong. The Happiness Emporium has had a very busy day. This morning they wore their Good News Quartet hats and hosted the 18th Annual Good News Gospel Sing at the Cathedral of the Assumption. They had a star-studded cast of guest performers and directors, including four voices, the Ditchfield Family Singers, Jim Clancy, Stephen Ditchfield, Errol Flynn, and Bruce O'Dell. And now, please welcome Bob, Rod, Rick, and Jim, your 1975 gold medalist, the Happiness Emporium. Thank you. Blessed day this has been for us to host the gospel sing this morning and to have over 800 of you wonderful souls over there this morning. Fantastic. And now, of course, sing on the AIC show. But our next song is really a public service announcement about the game of baseball and how it began. And I would like all of you baseball fans to kind of forget everything that you ever heard about uh, after Double Day and how he invented this game. Pay attention because the good Reverend Jones is going to set things straight with our arrangement of the first baseball game. My sermon today, said the Reverend Jones, is baseball and whence it came. Take a good look, can you take a good look? Ruth in the field made a name. The lion was struck out by David. A base was made unable by King. And the prodigal son made a great home run. Brother Noah gave checks out for rain, for rain. Now old St. Pete was checking errors. Also had charge of the game. Salome sacrificed Big John the Baptist, wound up a hair on a plate. Delilah was pitching to 
Mr. Sampson when he brought down the house with a clout. And the angels that day made a double play. That's when Adam and Eve were thrown out. You're out. And Jonah wailed and went down swinging. Later he popped up again. A line cried by old Nebuchadnezzar made Daniel warm up in the pen. Satan was pitching that apple. It looked as though he might fan a wall. Then Joshua let go with a mighty Blasted one right at the wall. Come along and let's play ball. Play ball. Thank you very much. Well, after reviewing the roots of the game of baseball, it should be fair game to take a look at one of the many influences on our favorite type of music, barbershop. The barbershop style has been stretched and embellished by many groups over the years. Modern, jazz, pop, country, and others have contributed to the evolution of the barbershop style. Southern gospel quartets have long been popular, with many groups, such as our own, crossing over to participate in both styles. This next song finds a gospel music fan longing for the quartets to sing the good old songs, just like a lot of barbershoppers do, in this old cathedral's favorite, an old convention song. We used to come from miles around, have dinner on the ground underneath those old shade trees, and sing the old songs in shape notes in four-part harmony. Like he said, be free, and he'll pilot me, and anywhere is home. How long has it been since you heard an old convention song? I'm still I still love to hear, love to hear those old convention songs. That I heard, that I heard as a just child. a little child as we sang them all day long. Like I'm a gonna walk and just a little talk and go all the day long. How long has it been since you heard an old convention song? Gospel songs today have a lot to say. So dear as when I hear an old convention song, I still, I still love to hear, love to hear those old convention songs that I heard, that I heard as a child, as a little child, as we sang them all day long. Like I'm gonna walk and just a little talk and go all the day long. How long has it been since you heard an old convention song? Song. How, long, How long has it been since you heard an old convention song? 